Greetings dear learners. In this video, we will talk about how to output data using Python. Now we can output data or display data on the screen in Python using print statement. Print statement. Print statement is used to display the specified content enclosed in parentheses or the result of the evaluation of an expression on the screen. Suppose I want to display a string using Python on the screen. So, to display a string, we will use a print statement with string enclosed in single or double quotes. So, I will to display hello on the screen, I will give the print statement print and then within parenthesis, hello string enclosed in single quotes here. You can also enclose it in double quotes. Now, if the argument of the print statement is an expression, then the interpreter tries to evaluate the argument and then display the result. For example, if I write print and then within parenthesis, 2 plus 3, then it will first evaluate this, that is it will add 2 to 3 and then the result of the evaluation is displayed on the screen. So you can see 5 has been displayed. Please remember that Python is a case sensitive language. So if you write capital print, it will be different from small print and you have to use small print only. So don't use any other uh, form of print statement. Default separator and terminator. Now you can display more than one item also using a single print statement. For that we use comma. By default print uses single space as a separator and slash n as a terminator which appears at the end of the print statement. So suppose I want to display 5, 10 and 15 using print statement. So, if I do not give any separator, it will take single space as the default separator. You can see the output of this print statement is 5, 10 and 15 and all three numbers are separated by space. Now, slash n as default terminator. So you can see uh, if I give two print statements together in a Python script, uh, print 5, 10, 15 and the next print statement is print within double quotes over. So, let's see what will be the output. You can see in the for the first print statement, the output is 5, 10, 15, all the three numbers separated by space. Now, you see the output of the next print statement is over which, which is coming on the next line. It is not coming on the same line. This is because slash n is the default terminator. After every print statement, your cursor comes to the next line automatically. Print can also be used with no arguments. That is, if we simply write print and parenthesis, it will give a blank line. So, let us try all this in Python shell. So, if I write print welcome, you can see welcome will be displayed on the screen. And if I write print 10, 20, 30, 40 suppose, you can see all the four numbers you can see are displayed on the screen and they are separated by space. So, let us try the slash n statement as default terminator. So, for this I am opening a python source file because I want to write to more than one statement. So, I will write suppose uh, I am learning python and then print this is my first suppose program. And suppose I want to give one more statement, print. Uh, suppose I am writing any number, 12, 13, 14. 
so first i will save this program save save as suppose qw now i will run it so you can see this is the my execution of this program so the first print statement is i am learning python so i am learning python is displayed and you can see the output of the next print statement this is my first program is coming on the next line this is because slash n is acting as a default terminator here after every print statement the default terminator slash n appears and your cursor comes to the next line so you see again the next print statement in which i am printing three numbers 12 13 14 also is coming on the next line so this is how python work now suppose we want to change the default separator and terminator of the print statement it can be done easily using sep argument and end argument so suppose i want to give uh, at the rate as the separator instead of single space so my print statement will look like print 5 comma 10 comma 15 comma sep equal to at the rate within single or double quotes so you can see the output of this print statement is 5 at the rate 10 at the rate 15 now suppose i want to separate all the three numbers by tab instead of space so i will give the print statement as print 5 comma 10 comma 15 comma sep equal to slash t within single quotes so you can see the output it is 5 10 and 15 all the three numbers separated by tab now suppose i want to have special characters as the separators and terminators so my print statement will look like print uh, suppose i want to print five uh, uh, four alphabets a b c d so it will be a b c and d all separated by commas and enclosed in single or double quotes and then sep equal to at the rate and end equal to double exclamation because i want uh, instead of slash n as the terminator i want double uh, exclamation marks as the terminator so you can see my output statement is a at the rate b at the rate c at the rate d and then instead of uh, slash n uh, that is new line i am giving double exclamation mark as the terminator now if i want to print suppose all the three numbers on new lines every number should appear on the next line for that i can give slash n as the separator so my print statement will look like print 5 comma 10 comma 15 comma sep equal to slash n within single quotes so you can see the output now all the three numbers they are appearing on the new line now it is very important to note that sep and end arguments they should be present as the rightmost arguments of the print statement so let me open the python shell now i will give the statement print uh suppose i want to print this comma is comma a comma toy comma sep equal to suppose i want all these words to be separated by hash symbol so i will give it like this and i press enter you can see all the four uh, words this is a and toy they are separated by hash this hash is hash a hash toy similarly if i give it like this print suppose uh, 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma sep equal to suppose uh dollar and then end equals percentage symbol so you can see i press enter you can see the output 10 dollar 20 dollar 30 and after the last number uh, it is terminated by percentage symbol so this is how i can change the uh, default separator and terminator according to my wish now using concatenation operator in print statement when concatenation operator is used between two strings 
both the strings are joined without leaving any space. So the difference is very small. But let's see what will be the output. Now when I try joining these strings with comma in a print statement. Suppose let us take an example. Print. Then there are two strings hello and python. And they are separated by comma you can see. So you can see the output is hello. And then there is a space and then python. Because in print uh, if you give more than two numbers or strings. The default separator is a single space. Now if I join two strings with concatenation operator. Then the print statement prints the str strings without giving any space. Because it is actually concatenating the two strings. So if I give print then hello and then plus and then python. You can see here I have given comma and now I am giving plus which is the concatenation operator. So it will concatenate that is join two strings. It will uh, uh, insert python at the end of hello and the output is hello python without any space. Now if I try to combine string and numeric data using concatenation operator, it will result in error. So let us see if I want to give print then python and then plus 3. So you can see this is an error which I am getting. That is I, it cannot be like I cannot have str and int together. I cannot can concatenate a number and a string with the help of print statement. And then uh, I can do it using a comma, uh, uh, using comma in print statement. I can give python comma 3. So these two things, uh, string and number, they will be printed with space as a default separator. So let us try this so that it becomes more clear. So let us try this. Uh, suppose I am giving print, suppose uh, welcome and then I am giving plus here, suppose. And then I am giving learners. So you can see the output is welcome learners without any space. And if I give print suppose welcome and then comma 12 suppose. So it is giving it is printing welcome and 12 with a single space in between. And if I give print welcome and then plus symbol and then 12. So it is giving me an error. I cannot concatenate a number with a string. So you can see uh, it, it must be a string. It should not be an integer for the concatenation operator to work here. This is all for this video. If you like this video, kindly give thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel Learning Simplified. Thank you.